Hola, Cubele Way. <laughs> Hi, follower. Welcome back to another episode of My Crazy Adventures in Mexico City. So, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for being here. I hope I haven't bored you yet. Um, so, there's a lot in this episode. So, sit back, relax, and uh, I really hope you like Mexico City. Because I do. What's up, y'all? Okay, so today is, dude, September 12th. Today's September 12th. Mexico has been so crazy, dude. <laughs> I am having so much fun today, or in this event, or in this trip. I just bought these glasses from a street vendor and they're fake Ray-Bans for five dollars <laughs> and like I have Ray-Bans already it's like but I want one of these now I like them I like how they're wooden on the side the guy was so grateful when I bought these from him he like he prayed with the money I give him so it's kind of different but anyway, I am, I just walked. Okay, so this morning, um, I'm showing you a picture of my food. I have no idea what it was called. It was like Sicilian something. And it was like a sandwich with cheese and turkey. Uh, like processed turkey. What is that called? Salami turkey? I have no idea. Yeah, like salami turkey. So it had that inside and it had the cheese and then it had like this amazing multi-grain bread like baked there and then they cut a hole on okay no that okay yeah they cut a hole on the top of the bread then they smothered the whole uh this like orange sauce that was really good it was so freaking good and then okay and then they put like a sunny side up egg on top of the whole thing doesn't it look so yummy i had mexican coffee i'm over caffeinated right now i met this guy last night we had so much fun his name is mario and he's been so good like I like him he's very handsome he looks like okay so there's like a chocolate called Carlos, Qu Carlos Quinto and if Carlos had a son a handsome son of course that's that's Mario that's him very cool guy anyways I'm walking to my apartment it's almost the 15th of the month um i work for a large american bank and i've been quarantined so just to, to work from home and they have decided that they want us back into the office on october 1st so i just don't know I hope that they can delay me one more month. I want to stay here for October. So we will see what happens. Anyways, I'm here at my apartment now. I'm just going to jaywalk. Jaywalking. And that's basically it. Let me show you what I see. Dude, there's no camera turnaround thing here. Sorry, guys. This is... 
This is my apartment. This is where I live. In this little busy intersection. Not bad. I live on the on this on the last floor upstairs. So security has been good to me here. They literally opened the door. I don't have to do anything. So this is lavish living. But we'll talk to you later. Oh my gosh, a French bulldog. Oh. So guys, I went to go try that place called Tierra Garat, which is like a Mexican brand of coffee, like a Starbucks. They specialize in coffee with chocolate. Um, so I really enjoyed working and eating there and they have really great views and music. I think one thing about Mexico City and the love culture is that they're romantic. And if someone likes you, they'll come up to you and tell you. And then they'll give you a paper with her phone number and a little cute message. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, Jose. Good morning. September 13th. September 13th. Today is September 13th. And, um... I am, I just did a quick workout <clears throat> at my apartment gym and I decided that I'm going to go for a long walk. Yeah, I'm going to go for a long walk towards Zocalo from where I live. I suspect it may be like a 35 minute walk. We will see. Not gonna be bad. So we'll see. Um, my I haven't eaten. It's what <clears throat> twelve fifty-five. I haven't had food yet. Am I hungry? No. Not hungry. Not hungry. But I'm sure with time, as I keep walking, I'll get hungry today and hopefully find a cute, a cute place. It'll be good. So in Mexico City and uh, historic downtown center, I found this opulent, beautiful restaurant called Casa de los Abuelos. And oh my God, like this, old building has art deco with gold finishes everywhere i i was i was like in the titanic <laughs> okay enough of that but um <laughs> yeah so i go in there and i'm like um she's like how many i'm like one just party of one and yeah i'm like i want the best view and so i was eating on the balcony of the restaurant by myself amazing amazing views of the street and they have this chile en nogada which is very popular in mexico city and in puebla mm -hmm. so it was yummy chiles en nogada um, is a mexican dish of poblano chiles stuffed with picadillo it's usually a mixture of usually containing shredded meat aromatics fruits and spices also topped with a walnut based cream sauce called nogada which uh, also has pomegranate seeds and parsley on top, and it's typically served at room temperature. Um, so I highly recommend that if you visit Mexico City, please, please um, get yourself a chile en nogada. And you can go to uh, the restaurant that I went to, which is not sponsored, but <laughs> we're not sponsoring anything right now, but um, it's called um, Casa de los Abuelos. Guys, um, after that amazing lunch, I went uh, to walk around downtown historic center in Mexico City and I came by a an altercation and I just want to warn you about that right now. <laughs>
my god. <laughs> keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. I'll be very real with you. Um, just like in any other place in the world, um, there's rough spots and there's nicer spots. Um, downtown Historic Center can be a little bit um, rougher and um, more more saturated. A lot of people down there, so I just want to be very clear and transparent about that. Um, I didn't have any issues. I'm always looking around, um, watching my surroundings, and making eye contact with people. All right. Okay. 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 I'm currently leaving Zona Rosa. I'm in the Insurgentes Glorieta, and this is the entrance to the subway. So we're gonna go into the subway and then we're gonna go to Polanco. Cause dude, that's my favorite place to be at. All right, we will talk, we will chat later. It's a beautiful day, it's 69 degrees outside and we're here. So good luck everybody. So in Mexico City, their subway system is called Sistema Metro, something like that. But it's actually one of the biggest in the world. And um, the one, the, the Polanco station, which is this one, um, the staircase is a piano. And when you walk on it, it's literally a piano. But I don't know what happened to the sound. So sorry, guys. But I'm, I'm a child. <laughs> Guys, I found an Abercrombie & Fitch in Mexico City, and if you know me, I worked at Abercrombie for five years in Las Vegas, so I was um, not working, but having fun here. <laughs> Also in Polanco, you will find one of, I think, three Apple stores in Mexico City, but they were all closed. So here's a shot of that. Their ads are everywhere. And this is also an architecture building, which is a museum. And I think it was donated by Carlos Slim, who was a billionaire. So being alone in Mexico City, I have no one here, no family. So, I'm forced to be okay by myself. And being here has taken away my depressions, my anxieties, and I'm happy, guys. So, I encourage that if you are going through it, to make a change for yourself. I deserve, we deserve, you deserve a happy life. So, go chase it because I did. Sending you love, peace, and a big warm hug. Love, Cesaroni.